Hi, I'm Marek Mulatuk and welcome to another video. And this time we're going to talk about a brand new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021. And this new feature is the new captions. So captions have been redesigned and now you can much more easily and quickly create captions and there are a number of new improvements. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can create these new captions in Premiere Pro CC 2021. Okay, let's have a look at the new captions in new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021. Okay, we have a new way of creating captions. And I'm going to use this video here, which has me in it, uh, the audio, and I'll show you the new way of creating captions. So I've got this video here, and we can hear me talking a little bit. Yes, I'm now recording on two cameras, you can say. So I've got... Okay, so I've got this video here. And we're going to create some new captions. So in new Premiere uh, CC 2021, we have a new panel called text. So I can go to window menu and then all the way down to text. So I've got this new way of creating captions. Text panel should normally open in the top left corner of your screen. So I've got one here. Now I'm getting this as a floating panel, which um, I don't really like, I don't like floating panels. I like panels to be docked everywhere. So what I'm going to do is if I just close this panel for a second and I'm just going to switch to the captions workspace. And in the captions workspace, we'll have the, the text panel in the top left corner of the screen. And it also opens a central graphics panel on the right hand side, which will come in quite really handy. Right. So now in the text panel, we have two options create new caption track and import captions from file. So if you have captions in say an SRT format, for example, which is very popular, you can just import it, uh, but we don't have one. So we're just going to create new captions track. So one of the new things you're going to notice here is when I click on this button, we are going to get this dialog box. So we're creating subtitle, for example, here. Okay. So you know your standards, uh, typically, you'd go either for CA708 or the subtitle, because we're going for subtitle here. And we can choose a style, but there's nothing here yet. So we'll talk about it a bit later. And I will click OK. Now, this creates a new track in your timeline. Right on the top here, we have a subtitle track. Uh, and you get a CC button here as well for track options. So if I click on it, you can show all captions track, hide all caption tracks, and show active caption track only. So got this new caption track. This is a separate section. So you've got your video tracks, audio tracks, and the subtitle tracks in here. You got your usual hide it and lock it and so on. Okay. Now back to the text panel. We're going to add a new caption segment here with this plus button. But just before we do it, I want to move the playhead where I want this uh, caption to be. Another new feature in Premiere 2021 is when you create captions, your captions are going to appear where your playhead is, which is a really nice improvement because in the past, as you remember, the captions were just created one after the other. Not anymore. So now I'm going to move the playhead first. So here I want to put a new caption segment. Okay, the captions, this is another improvement. This is another uh, in improvement where, where no matter what type of captions you're going to create, they will appear in your program monitor automatically. Let me show you something. If I just move the program monitor or we'll make it bigger, if I click on the spanner icon here, we don't have the closed captions options here anymore because we don't need them anymore, right? Okay, so I've got this new caption. Now let me see what I'm actually saying here. Yes, I'm now recording on two cameras. Okay, 
I'm now recording on two cameras, so double click here. I'm now recording on two cameras. Uh, here, I think I may have said. Okay, so got this caption here. Let's just do one more. So back to the timeline. I'm now recording on two cameras, you could say. So I've got on two cameras, uh, you could say. Oops, you could say. Okay. Um, put a full stop. <laughs> yes, I'm now recording on two cameras, you could say. So I've got. There's another one. So it's actually here. So I want the gap in there. So I'm going to make a new caption here. I got something. So let's just have a look at it. So I've got uh, a smartphone just in front of me. Okay, I've got. It's a bit of a pause, so I'm going to put three dots. My smartphone right in front of me. So say these two captions, for example, here. And as you create captions, they appear right where you placed your playhead, right where you parked your playhead. Let's say, well, there's a couple of options you have in here. I've got this caption selected. And you have these buttons here where you could split a segment. So basically, you could make this uh, caption into two. It's like making a cut in time. So if I show you, if I move the playhead down a little bit, say there, so I'm roughly halfway through, I could split it into two segments. They're both the same, but I've got two segments now here in the timeline. Okay. Also with these two segments, if I select them, we can then merge them into one. Here we go. Okay. So I've got these two segments here. When you customizing these captions, so say if I select, uh, say the first one, for example. Now here's another interesting feature. Notice as I'm switching between the captions in the text panel, the playhead is jumping between them. That's a very nice new feature. Very nice indeed. The playhead is just jumping. Beautiful. Okay. Also, as you move your playhead in a timeline, the captions will get highlighted. So if I just deselect here, the captions, here we go. Look in the text panel and notice how the captions have been highlighted. Very nice feature. Okay, let's edit them. So if I select the first caption here, and in the essential graphics panel, it goes into edit mode automatically for our subtitle. And now we can start customizing it. So I could change the font, say maybe to something like a Roboto, and maybe a little bit thicker, like light, for example. And you have all the usual options. So I could make this text bigger, and it's going to wrap to a new line automatically. Okay, so we don't have to use the Enter key like we did in the past. But let's actually undo. And you have the usual options here, so you can make it left aligned, right aligned, center aligned. Then you have this align option where you can set it to be positioned at the bottom of your screen in the center, or bottom left, or bottom right. This is the position of this uh, captions block. And of course, you can change the fill color, you can change the stroke, you could have a, well, you do have a shadow, you could customize the shadow, so you could make it more semi-transparent, for example, here, so it's less visible, okay. Or you can just increase its opacity back to 100. You can change the position of the sh drop shadow as well, and the distance from the text, and so on. So this is all the same. As you customize your subtitles, you can save this as a style, as a track style. If you remember, when we were creating new captions, we got this, uh, in the dialog box, there was an option for a style, for a track style. So I could just reply it next time we create it. So if I just click on it and create a style, and I want this style to be, say, captions, Roboto, so I know which one I'm using here, with 
shadow okay and i'll click ok here so now i've got this style here i could select another caption here or i could select them both and i'll make sure it's been applied it's normally applied automatically another nice new improvement and this could be applied later on to your other captions okay now as far as i'm aware at the time of the recording these caption styles are saved uh, with the project okay so you won't be able to apply them on different projects you will be able to apply them on different sequences just not on different projects okay so say if i make a new sequence if i come here and make a new sequence i'll use the standard 1080p settings so I normally use 1080p 24 frames per second so I just click OK for now, and I'll go create new caption track. So say we can go for subtitle, and we can apply our style. So this style will be applied automatically to all your captions. Now this is a beautiful feature. Okay, so this may change, but at the moment, at the time I'm recording it, um, it's uh, saved within this project. It won't be applied to other projects okay just something to bear in mind so i'm going to cancel that and i'll go back to this previous sequence here uh, with captions so i've still got uh, all my captions selected you can also use this uh, three dots in the top right corner and you can export them so you could export just the captions file you don't have to export the video with the captions like we did in the past you can just export the caption file, nothing else. And this will export just the SRT file or the text file. It creates a standard text file. So if I go export to SRT file, if I put it right on my desktop here, so say caption, I know a very unique name, <laughs> and I'll click save. Okay. So now if I go to the desktop and open this caption file in Notepad, it just looks like they used to what well, they used to look like that in the past as well so this hasn't changed okay it's just the workflow that's now different in premiere pro here with these new captions also i just want to mention that if you one of these lucky ones who who are on this uh, uh, beta version of the premiere you have one more button in the text panel where it can generate them for you automatically okay the standard version of premiere pro cc 2021 just has these two buttons to import caption file or create caption track okay and also just to mention you can have multiple caption tracks yes you can uh, and you just get c1 and c2 and c3 and so on in here so in here i could right click in this area and add a track this will give us another caption track so i could do another one and apply a style at the same time and click ok now i have another one by default only one will be shown which is supposed to be the case so this one is turned off at the moment and we've got a new one so i could create some new captions you can also right click on this track and go to track settings to customize the format if you want to change it or apply a different style at any time so you can apply the style to the entire captions to the entire captions track you don't even have to select them in the in the text panel you can just do it here in the caption track settings beautiful feature to have in here okay so captions now got much easier in this new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, put the comments uh, below and I'll be happy to help reply. Uh, but I think that's, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you, wherever you are. And thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk. And... Hope to see you on the next video. That's it for now. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching.